Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed from Erin from Nakes, and today we're going to learn how to make this felt succulent wall hanging with six different types of succulent designs or techniques. So three of the techniques are using this really cool die from Crafter's Edge made by Tammy Totoro using these dies right here cut with the Kunin felt and the crossover two machine. And three of these are just using a pair of scissors. I use a wide variety of fun colors. And without further ado, let's jump in and learn how to make it. So the first step is we are going to paint this with the new Treasure Gold paint from Plaid. This is a folk art paint that is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to dip straight into the jar here and just go ahead and paint. But the first step is I want to take off the backing. project where you can upcycle your frames. You may have a ton of frames laying around. This is also a great way to kind of glam up your frames and make them a little bit cooler. This is going to take a couple of coats. So I'm going to go ahead and put the first coat on, let it dry, and then do a second coat. But I'm going to speed that whole part up for you. my frame is drying, we are going to die cut out of felt this really cute succulent pattern from Crafter's Edge. These are fabric dies are a little bit thicker, which means they can cut through felt a little bit better and it is by Tammy Totoro. So we are going to cut our felt and I'm going to do it out of a couple of colors. This is one of the Kunin felt colors. It's absolutely gorgeous. We got prickly purple, we got bright lilac. We're also gonna do some greens and some blues. And I'm also gonna show you a couple other easy techniques that you can use to make succulents to make our succulent frame. But let's die cut this first. cut out my pieces, it's just a matter of assembling. Stack your felt pieces one on top of the other, super, super simple, and then just take a needle and thread, place it right through the center here, pull it, and you can really use whatever color you want. You can use the same color or a different color, and then just thread through your little beads. I've got four or five little beads. You could just do straight. You don't, you could do a single bead. I like having the four or five little beads. I think it looks kind of cool. Go back in. The beads will stop it from pulling all the way through. And to lay this flat, just place your beads down. Stick a piece of thread going through. And this also kind of secures the entire system again. And then just go back over it. So you're going up and around and over and just kind of pulling those beads a little bit tighter to the actual succulent, which I think is super, super cute. It's just a couple, just like that. And then just do a quickie little tie off. Really one string of thread. You can do a whole bunch of succulents all at the same time. And this is just one version of a succulent. When you're done, just kind of pull your thread and there it is, it's your little succulent. You can make these in a lot of different colors. Just take a look at all beautiful colors. Just go with colors that you would normally see in succulents and they are absolutely gorgeous. Now let's make another one. Another super easy flower that you could make or a succulent you can make is just take a couple of pieces, add a little bit of glue on one of them. This is a good fabric sticky glue and that's it. Voila. And this is what a couple other versions with different colors look like. So there's little mini succulents that you can see. The next one you can do is take three of them. Again, line these up, add glue between each layer. You need a pin or a paper clip, or clip here like I have. So line all these up. Add a little dab of glue in the center of that one and then start rolling all this into itself and just kind of basically sandwich it in half and then go ahead and put your clip and this is going to hold this in place while the glue sets and when you're ready to unclip it it looks like this now if you've got little pieces here that are kind of opening up because you're like ah, i don't like that just come in with a little bit more glue and kind of close it up and just hold it. And it'll start holding and then you have a little bitty succulent that's a little bit different than the other ones. So it makes it look a little cooler while it's all together on your frame. All right, now time for a couple more easy ones. Super simple with scissors. All right, next one, a little bit of piece of felt and just come in and start cutting out sections. Make it look like it's got kind of like a fringe here. All right, 
So you have your little fringe, just roll this up. When you get to this point, add a little dollop of glue, hold it, and then when you're ready to put it in there, flare it out and you have a really cool little succulent. Here's a couple others that I've made using a very similar technique. This last one here is super, super simple. You start off with a circle or an oval, and you guys have seen me make these before. Cut it in a spiral. If you cut it where your spiral has zigzag marks, it has a different effect. If you cut when your spiral has got kind of like wavy patterns as you're cutting it, it has a different effect as well. All you then do is start spiraling this in. It's based, this is another way of making a flower. This is a rosette, but it works with the succulent garden. When you put them all together, it really does have like a, a vibe of a succulent when you add it all. When you get to the end, add your glue to the bottom. And there you go. So this is the one we just made, and here's a whole bunch of other versions of what I have made. Some with the wavy lines, some with the spiky lines, and all in different colors. The last shape is very similar, starting as the same as the last one. You take your spiral, you start off the same way, kind of spiral it in. Add a tiny bit of glue. Now, as you start spiraling, start spiraling so that you create a tube. So you got to keep on adding glue because you're making this longer and longer and longer. So add little bits of glue as you're going down and turn this into a tube, as you can see. And then when you get a little further, come in, add a little bit more glue, keep rolling it to create your tube and it'll get longer and longer. You don't want to make this too long because it gets a little unstable. So just a little length will do just fine. And when you get to the right length and you feel like, okay, you're there, which I think I'm about here, go ahead and snip off. You're done you have kind of like a tube shape. Here's two other versions I've made, just kind of adding more length to them that all look like kind of like succulents. Now it's time to put everything together. The next step is to actually add glue and put a piece of paper in there so that way we actually have a backing to our frame. So I'm just taking a piece of cardstock and adding glue to the back of it and then popping this in the frame right here, just like that. Now you gotta give it a couple of seconds to dry and then we'll add in our flowers. So I've got all my succulents made, frame is painted, it is ready to go, got my glue, now it's just a matter of assembling and putting everything together. So I'm gonna start off with some of the flatter ones and just kind of placing them. I'm gonna use the wet glue here so I can still kind of move things around. I'm gonna hit some of the spots first. I'm not worried about if I get little copy webs with this paint, this stuff here. I'm going to alternate colors. So another thing I can do is like this one, I definitely want to put this underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck this under and add a little bit more glue right here. So it's just a matter of placing, kind of layering and kind of tweaking around and just adding all my little bits that I want adding some of my larger ones. I think I want this one coming off right about here. And then just putting all my elements in where I want them. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and continue adding all my flowers.
layered up, lots of fun colors, six different techniques, three using the dies, three using your scissors, and lots of loads of fun. So you can kind of pick whatever color choices you like. I went with some cool colors and just colors I thought succulents kind of resembled or were similar to. You can really kind of have fun with it. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. All supply links are listed down below where you can find them, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye, everybody.